In the first part of the video, we set up a web-based radio station with AzuraCast. In this video, you will learn how to live stream AzuraCast radio station on YouTube and create live radio broadcast on YouTube. If you did not watch the first part, please watch it before this video, I will provide the link in the description. Using this method, you able to live stream YouTube 24 hours. To set to this, I use the same VPS which used to install the AzuraCast server. Step 1. Setting up AzuraCast and start broadcasting. You have to upload music files that you want to broadcast, but they are, should be copyright free, otherwise, YouTube taken down your live stream. After uploading your music files, click the Start Station button at the left upper corner of the AzuraCast dashboard. It is started now. You can check it using the link at the top right corner. Also, you can see the public page using these links. Step 2. Install FMPEG Video Encoder. Using the PuTTY app connect to the terminal again. This time, you able to use the saved session to connect the VPS without entering credentials. Login as Ubuntu. Install FMPEG Video Encoder using this command. Here type Y to proceed further. FMPEG is a free and open source software project consisting of a large suite of libraries and programs for handling video, audio, and other multimedia files and streams. We use it for live stream AzuraCast radio station to YouTube. Installing process takes some time, please wait until it is finished. Now we have to install an additional screen that keeps the process after the SSH connection is terminated. Step 3. Upload video or image file to VPS using FileZilla. You have to upload a loop video or image. It is the background of the live stream and it loops during the AzuraCast audio broadcast. I use the FileZilla FTP client to upload the video file to the server. You can download it using the link in the description. After installation of the FileZilla, open the application and click the server icon at the top corner to connect the server. Add a new site and name it using any name you preferred. Paste your public IP address of the server as hostname and enter 22 as the port. Change the protocol to SFTP and also select Longo type as key file. Enter username Ubuntu, then select a private key file that you previously saved. It is the same file that used to connect the PuTTY terminal. After setup, click the connect button, which will establish the connection between server and client. The window on the left hand side is your local computer and on the right hand side the remote server. To upload the file, simply right click on the file and select upload. You will see the progress below. When finish the upload, copy the name of the file and location. This is the script that used to broadcast the AzuraCast on YouTube. You will find this in the guide and it indicates what are locations to change. Step 4. Live stream radio on YouTube. Now connect to the server terminal again using the PuTTY app. Use this code to get a new screen. The new screen keeps the live stream after the termination of the SSH connection with the server. Get your AzuraCast broadcasting URL and replace it in the script. Now copy the code and paste it in the terminal after press enter to run it. You can see it is running now. Check it on your YouTube live stream dashboard. You can see it is successfully broadcasting on YouTube. 
If you think this video is helpful like and share it with others. Subscribe for more videos like this. I also invite you to join Minex community forum to share your knowledge. Thank you for watching Minex.